Mathematicians have calculated the square root of 2 to more than 2 trillion decimal places, and there is no pattern of repetition. However, we can show irrational numbers on diagrams or on the number line. If we draw an isosceles right angle triangle with two sides equal to one unit, the length of the hypotenuse will be equal to the square root of 2, according to the theorem of Pythagoras. So, the number can't be represented as a fraction, and it can't be represented accurately as a decimal. But, it does have a very real representation geometrically, and as a position on the number line. The hypotenuse method can be used to show the roots of whole numbers from the square root of 2 and upwards. If we draw another right angle triangle with a side of one unit on the hypotenuse of our constructed square root of 2, then the new hypotenuse would be equal to the square root of 3. And we can carry on in this way. This is called a Pythagorean spiral. The square root of any whole number that is not a perfect square is an irrational number, so many of these lengths are irrational. The exceptions, of course, are the roots of perfect squares such as 4, 9 and 16.